Good morning, guys. So I'm sorry that I didn't follow up on my two videos about going to Cheyenne and to the three Goodwills and to the private thrift. Um, I was having so much trouble with my phone and I finally was in Cheyenne and I would have to like make one video upload that, delete that off. And then if I had any eBay photos on my phone, I would also have to make sure that every single eBay photo was deleted. And I'd gone into all my apps and deleted ones that I didn't need. And I, you know, looked at the device storage to see what could possibly be causing it. But I just couldn't figure it out because I don't have that many apps compared to most people, I don't think. I don't keep music on my phone. Um, I, do keep, I do download some Audible books and that kind of thing. But anyway, I went to the Verizon store and I'm going to have to give them like a shout out or take them cookies or something but he went through the apps I do have and he found out that for some reason my Instagram app was saving everything so I had like I don't know I don't know my megabytes and you know gigabytes and all that but I had you know, 80% of the storage on my phone was going to Instagram for things that I didn't even need, and it wasn't photos that I was purposely keeping. So anyway, he took that app, he took the Instagram app off, reinstalled it, and so far that has not reoccurred. So that was great. I bought a um, $20 charger from them because I needed one anyway, and that's, you know, twice as much money as I just ordered three more from Amazon. But I was so thankful. I just wanted to spend money with the company because I was thinking, you know, I'm going to have to get a new phone just to make these little videos that I make. And um, so what I'm going to do now is this is going to take, I think to do my haul, um, it's going to take at least two 10 minute videos and maybe three. And the reason I'm doing 10 minutes is because for some reason, that's all I can seem to get Instagram to let me do. I'm still going to research that. I keep promising. I know. Um, and then on YouTube, I, I would like longer videos, but I'll just put part one and part two and maybe even part three. So I went to that estate sale. I spent $35. Um, if you recall, yesterday if you do happen to watch my videos I uh, got up at 4 30 in the morning I tried to scramble to get ready but I was loading my car in case I had to stay the night because uh, winter is coming so it took me to about six to leave so that put me at the estate sale two hours away um, about an hour hour and a half late and he said people had already been there buying so I don't know what I missed but I did find a lot, um, and, and I only spent $35, but I found the best stuff. So everything you see here, it's a combination of three Goodwills, one private thrift store, which he gives discounts to resellers. Um, he's a huge storage unit buyer, and he just, he, I just need to go work for him for two or three days and get that place cleaned up. I mean, he is amazing. He's a smart businessman, but he only has one employee, and she can't keep up, and they have stuff everywhere. But for a reseller like me, that's what you want. He's really good to me, gives me discounts. He's going to start saving the photos and the postcards and some of the stuff that he's been throwing away, which hurts my heart but you know he he can only sell so much so he makes most of his money on furniture he has a big warehouse and most of his money goes on the really nice furniture and he seems to know his furniture and he does he's not dumb he he marks up other stuff but for the most part anything else I can get for under eight to ten bucks and I'll show you some of what I got there um and then I hit two Goodwills in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and one in Laramie. So I'll try to remember where I got each thing. Honestly, some of it I won't be able to because it's just it's just too much. So let's start here. So I got two boxes of books at the estate sale. And he had a ton of other books there. But he had a huge amount by this E.E. E. Doc Smith. And not both, both boxes are not E.E. E. Doc. Um, but there's at least, I want to say, 20 or 30 of this paperback author. And in groups of the vintage, um, I'll, I, let's see, I paid about a quarter a book. And I'll end up getting at least $50 for the lot. And there are some of these paperbacks that actually do go high. So I'm going to have to speed type them in and make sure I don't have a rare one. Um, let me see if I can get this out. You can see the $3 sticker. Now this does have a base down in there 
And um, let me see if I can. I wasn't prepared. I actually forgot about this ball. I bought so much stuff. Okay, so this is called Pyromania from Pyromania Glass Studio. It, there's quite a few of these on eBay. And uh, there's a wooden base. I picked this up and I was going to buy the ball. And then he said, well, what about the base? This was the guy at the estate sale. Anyway, I'm thinking this pretty blue one um, that I can get around 40 or 50 bucks for. I've got to double check that, but that's what comps were. So I was really happy with that. And uh, here's the base. I better keep it on there so I don't break it. Looks like it's missing one of the little pegs there to keep it on the base. But it's not going to go anywhere on this base. So that, it, it's gorgeous, honestly. I just, I don't really collect art glass, but boy, is it ever pretty. Um, so, let's go to number two. Um, Sci-fi, you know, paperbacks can be worth quite a bit. So this is the second author that he had a ton of, and it's Arthur Upfield. And same thing, in this vintage paperback style, because there were so many in a group and I was paying a quarter, I should get between $30 and $50 for the amount of um, Arthur Upfield books in there. And, and you can tell I got at least 20, 25 of each author. There were a ton of other books, a ton of other sci-fi paperbacks. You know, for a quarter apiece, I probably should have just grouped the sci-fi paperbacks. I've done that years ago when I only sold books, but I'm kind of out of that mode now, and it honestly didn't occur to me to make a group listing of vintage sci-fi paperbacks. I'm sure I could have eked another $25, $30 profit by spending another two, three dollars, but that's okay. Um, then I was at the Goodwill, let's see, it's one of the Goodwills in Cheyenne, and this, I was looking through the luggage, this was down in the bin of backpacks and stuff, but it was really heavy, so I opened it up, and there is a, um, sorry guys, let me turn it this way, there's a printer in here, it's a Canon kind of portable style printer, let me tell you which one it is here. And I haven't tested it yet, but I looked, and for parts even, it's it's fine. I'll make my money back. I paid $5 for the whole bag. There's ink in there. It's the IP90 series. And my son and I, I'm going to talk to my son. We travel a lot for Amazon, and it really would be nice to do our shipments with a, a printer. So I'm going to see what he thinks. I'm going to test this in the next few days. I don't know if I'll get to it tonight, but it has all the cords. It has a bunch of ink. Um... It has, you know, everything down in there. There's all that ink for it. And um, so we might actually, for five bucks, just end up keeping this so that when we travel um, to other states to do Amazon, that we actually have our own printer. Um, every hotel nowadays has a printer, but I just don't like logging into even my email. So what we do when we do Amazon on the road, when we go to ship things, is we, um, you know, pull up the labels in a PDF format, then we send them to our email. Same with the top labels on the um, UPS boxes. We'll make the labels, we'll send that file to us in a PDF format to our email, and then we'll print those off in the hotel, um, you know, business office. But you're still logging into your email on a public computer, which is fine. You know, we change our passwords. Um, but anyway, so that was a great find for $5. Even if it doesn't work, the ink and the parts are great. I'll make at least $30, no matter how you look at it there. Um, this item is always a pickup. Um, this is for people who've had knee surgery, shoulder surgery, or just have chronic pain. So uh, most people know about these, but as a nurse, I can definitely tell you people get them with every surgery. They send you home with a hundred dollar one and people who just have chronic pain don't want to buy one. And this one here, this particular brand should be at least $40. It's pretty clean inside the pad here. I'd, I'd be happier if it didn't have that yellow, yellow kind of staining. I am going to try to wipe that off so the pad doesn't look the best but the unit itself just looks virtually unused it's very clean so I should still do really good on that then these are just for me these are Ikea napkins 50 cents for that thick thing of orange napkins so uh, you know Halloween's this month or even Thanksgiving so I can't help but but do that and then these here, there's 12 of these. I got these from the reseller guy who buys storage units. 
and um, these are a buck a piece, and they go for $10 free shipping on eBay. So I'm just going to put them in one group listing. I'll probably list mine for like six plus three or four dollars shipping. So, guys, I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to go ahead and break up this video um, for. Uh, you know, part one uh, for Instagram's sake. And then as you can see, I got all this other stuff here to talk about. So that's why I have to break up the video. There's a pile over there. So, okay, um, I will put, I will make this very clear in the video. And um, thank you guys so much for watching.